The Book of Revelation has been a topic of controversy for a long time. Its cryptic language has led some to believe that it contains a timeline for an unprecedented level of destruction. Some argue that this timeline will end suddenly and violently in our current century. The world is changing rapidly and facing threats that seem apocalyptic. Concerns such as global warming and overpopulation are prevalent, and news headlines can be seen as evidence of the fulfillment of biblical prophecies for some readers of Revelation. Just turn on C, N, N, E, BBC or Fox to see headlines about melting ice caps, devastating natural disasters and political instability. These headlines are enough to scare anyone. Devastating hurricanes, mass tornadoes, earthquakes that are getting increasingly higher on the Richter scale. As we approach the end of days, the frequency and proximity of events are increasingly noticeable. These events are occurring at a rapid pace and appearing in quick succession, almost overlapping each other. Before we continue, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe as we frequently upload lots of interesting content about different prophecies. Let's continue. According to the prophecy found in Revelation, the breaking of each of the seven seals of the apocalypse signifies that we are drawing nearer to the end of the timeline. The book of Revelation describes the end of the world in vivid and symbolic language. It foretells a series of events that will culminate in the final judgment and the establishment of a new heaven and earth. The first sign will be the appearance of four horsemen, representing conquest, war, famine, and death. This will be followed by natural disasters such as earthquakes, plagues, and meteor showers. The Antichrist will then rise to power and deceive many people with his false miracles before being defeated by Jesus Christ himself. Finally, there will be a great battle between good and evil at Armageddon, after which Satan will be thrown into a bottomless pit for 1,000 years while Jesus reigns on earth. Earth view. The final judgment will see all souls judged according to their deeds before entering either heaven or hell. Regardless of interpretation, the message is clear. Prepare for judgment day by living a righteous life and following God's commandments. According to certain biblical experts, the breaking of the seals has already commenced, indicating a potential for a final catastrophic event. It remains uncertain what may occur and when, as well as where we stand on the timeline of events. According to the book of Revelation, as the end of the world approaches, Earth and its inhabitants will experience severe suffering, wars, illness, and a series of disasters and catastrophes. Eventually, the Earth itself will be destroyed, marking the final destruction of mortal human beings' home. It is unknown which forces will bring about this destruction or how we will recognize the breaking of the seventh seal, which is said to signal the ultimate punishment for mankind's evil, announced through the peals of celestial trumpets. It is written that seven angels will appear, each with a trumpet. This signals the beginning of a series of judgments known as the trumpet judgments. Many scholars believe that these judgments will manifest as natural disasters of catastrophic proportions. They look to scientific explanations to decipher the cryptic text in Revelation, as it may refer to physical forces beyond our planet. There are scholars of the New Testament who believe that references to fire falling from the sky in biblical texts could be describing asteroid impacts. In fact, the book of Revelation contains a verse that suggests such an impact could result in a catastrophic event if it were to occur. This interpretation sheds light on how ancient cultures may have perceived and recorded natural disasters. In the book of Revelation, the third angel's trumpet heralds the fall of a great star, known as Wormwood, from the sky. While some scholars believe that the author John may have been referring to a comet or asteroid, it is widely accepted that ancient observers did not differentiate between various celestial bodies. Interestingly, there is no star named Wormwood, but scientific evidence suggests that an asteroid strike could have catastrophic consequences for life on Earth. It is believed that all three generations of dinosaurs were wiped out, in part by extraterrestrial collision events. If such an event were to occur today, humanity would not survive. In fact, a collision between Earth and an asteroid just a few miles in diameter 
could release as much energy as the detonation of multiple nuclear weapons. In the Book of Revelation, it describes a scenario where a third of the sun, moon, and stars are darkened. This event could be likened to the devastating impact a large asteroid or comet could have if it were to strike Earth. If such an event were to occur, it would send millions of tons of debris into our atmosphere, causing a cloud of dust that could cut us off from the sun and its life-giving properties. The Book of Revelation also predicts that more trumpets will blast and greater anarchy will unfold. Furthermore, the Book of Revelation suggests that the final battle between good and evil will take place at Armageddon. This is where a great war will occur, culminating in the ultimate defeat of Satan and his followers by God's army. This victory will be followed by the creation of a new heaven and earth, where believers will live with God forever. So where are we in the timeline to Armageddon? Well, it's impossible to say for sure where we stand on the timeline of events described in the book of Revelation. Biblical experts believe that certain signs, such as the restoration of Israel as a nation and the increase in natural disasters, could be interpreted as indicators that we are approaching the end times. However, it is important to remember that throughout history, people have predicted the end of the world based on various interpretations of biblical prophecy, and so far, none have been correct. Let me know in the comments below where you think we are right now. As we come to the end of the video, to summarize, according to the book of Revelation, the end of the world will be characterized by significant suffering and destruction caused by wars, illnesses, disasters, and catastrophes. The breaking of each seal signifies that we are moving closer to the end of time. While we cannot predict when or how these events will occur precisely, it is clear that humanity must prepare for judgment day by living a righteous life and following God's commandments. Ultimately, those who do so will be rewarded with eternal life in a new world free from suffering and evil. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe as we frequently upload lots of interesting content.